Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Back to more Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. In the last episode, uh, we almost finished Barrendale Mesa, and with what I'm about to do, I think uh, we are going to. I started off from the crane here because if I go down, I believe it's these three letters. Nope. Ow. I looked up a thing for this. No, it's over here. A little hidden. There we go. There is the last memory I need on this planet, which I think will give me the coin as well. Nope, it didn't give me the planet coin. Once. Whoop! Oh god! Oh no! Wait, go back! The ring stabilizer! With little trees or vegetation to stave off erosion, Mama needed a solution to keep Barrendale Mesa from falling apart and fast. Having no one to rely on but herself, she invented the Ring Stabilizer to uphold the environmental integrity of the planet. Once the soil can be enriched, planting will begin anew. Perhaps by our next visit, it will have been transformed again, this time for the better. With little trees... Oh, what? Hey, no, stop. Don't play that again. I didn't know it repeated it. Uh, okay. So that didn't... Uh, no, t no, F off. F off. No, F, F off, please. Alright, well... Give me a minute to discover what I'm missing, because usually the planet coins are attached to, like, a chest or something, so it, it could be... It could be a few things. One moment. Hey. Remember when I was, when, like, I was like, Oh, man! I could hear a rabbit inside the shipping container! Isn't that a wacky set piece? It was more than a set piece. Turns out, you could use Beepo's echo uh, ability on it and it'll break open the container. And I th and, and the side of the container that you could break open is only available by putting the crane over on the left side like this. I thought nothing of it, because there's so much like little wacky extra stuff that goes on in this game. I never thought that that container, whoops. I never thought that that shipping container would actually have something in it. Because I think if you put it in the center, then it's suspended. And if you put it all the way on the uh, right, then you can't access the, uh, you can't access the, the opening of the container. So, get that, blow it open. I wasn't scared. I was just uh, role playing a safety training exercise. You did great. Oh god. No, it's too much. There we go, and that's the last planet coin awarded. So, whoops. Uh, I want to go to map. I want to go to all the way over here. I want to go back to the ship, and I want to buy myself something from uh, from from uh, nine ninety nine plus sales tax, shipping and handling. Uh. Oh my god, act now, supplies are running out, Allow we're still alive, six to eight weeks to arrive. You might as well be walking on the sun. Does that give me all the progress? Thank god! I'm missing th three, well wait, did that count as one of the- I have to check now. I have to leave and come back and go over to here. We've got one weapon skin missing and three memories. 91% completion of the game. Yep. So now we could finally head on over to Curse's Stronghold and beat up Rosalina. Hmm. Curse's Stronghold. It may appear daunting, but remember Mama's words. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to think now. Couldn't the sparks have just been like the common ob observatory? Because that's clearly the common observatory in there. Unity. We must trust in one another. <laughs> I'm ho I was hoping one of them might have a fate. Wait, wh where's Rabbit Rosalina? Because she doesn't trust us as far as she could throw us. Trust that our bond makes us stronger than all the fear and anger Cursa could ever add to the galaxy. <laughs> yes. Well said. Wow, you're really getting good at this emotion business. Everyone! Everyone? Can we pretty please use Mama's Shield Buster now? Yeah. 
Launch the ducky! The little ducklings in a row! Neat effect of the particulate just like going very, very like, not going very far out and just like suspending there. Ooh. Wow. The Comet Observatory. That, that's Rosalina's Comet Observatory. What's going on, Genie? The observatory's coordinates match those of the epicenter of darkness energy spreading throughout the galaxy. Merry Darkmas! There. See the Comet Observatory's beacon? It is the entrance to the very core of the Darkmas dimension itself. It wasn't enough to take control of Rosalina. It had to ruin her home! A symbol of hope for all the galaxy! All the galaxy! Oh, Jesus. Uh, attack! What are we waiting for? We're here, Rosalina! We're here! That's a scary mountain. The density of darkness energy around the observatory has created enough air pressure to neutralize our thrusters. Brace yourselves. I will need to make an emergency landing on some debris left behind by the darkness barrier. Darkness imprisoning me. Whoa, wow, what an emergency land. I feel like I feel like this is where we hit crunch time in development. Well, perhaps our ship can't get any closer to the Comet Observatory, but we can. No, the dark mess is messing with our legs as well. See those cannons? We need to get to the larger one, and from there we can get to Rosalina. The largest Hadron Collider. Two dark mess puddles stand in our way. Being this close to Cursa, they will be exceedingly dangerous. Oh yeah? Well, we just shattered Cursa's sense of invulnerability like a priceless heirloom on moving day. So I guess we are pretty dangerous too. That's right, Odd. All right, well, what do you got for a sales tactic 9001? Ha! Don't expand too fast, my investors said. Never open a location on floating debris, they said. Fortunate favors the brave, I told them. Not that I would ever gouge a customer, mind you. But if you can find lower prices on top grade products within a cannon shot of Cursa Stronghold, buy them! Speaking of, any direct engagement with Cursa avoids warranties on these puppies. I'll let you browse. There are, all right. The mushroom sack. All right, I'm actually gonna grab a few things here. Five of the, uh, maybe a little bit more. Ten of those. I've got six power blocks, I think it's fine. Six of those, I own no shoes. I'm gonna get like 10 of those. We need 10 shoes. Buy a few more of the dash cookies and definitely want more of the cleansing sprays. And I can get a little bit more, some more items. Yes. I can sell as well, but there's nothing I really want to sell. All right, well, if that's the case, then I can also look into... There are three memories on here, and we're at 0% progress. Maybe I should have at least done something before, uh, before doing that. King of Darkness! Wait a minute! King of Darkness, that must be part of the, the mega bug that fused with Bowser a while back. Defeat Darkness Bowser. Oh. Uh, uh. Ooh, we are four. What is happening right now? Cursa, having descended from the mega bug encountered in your previous adventures, has inherited its memories, from which it reconstructed this likeness of Bowser. Bowser! That's right! The Megabug assumed control of Bowser, treating him like a mindless puppet! But it was all for nothing. We beat him soundly, in front of Bowser Jr., no less. Remember Bowser? I was there. I remember. We won't be able to stop Bowser from leading this attack! Uh, we'll need three for backup! 
Wait, is Bowser uncontrollable during this? No, he's just locked in. Okay. Let me see what we're looking at for Dark Mess Bowser. 27,000, uh... 27,000, and he's resistant to burn, which means probably won't be a good idea. Well, it depends on what I have, but it probably won't be a good idea to turn the me uh, Mecha Koopas into Burnies. Uh, I am I am four throughout this though, so I can make some I can make some decisions here. He's got jump pads as well, and a rather large backfield that's leading up to a throne that we can't access. But this almost looks like it'll make a bridge at some point. Uh, that or he'll retreat up there. A little bit of goo on the ground too. Everything around here is Goombas and Magikoopas, which is not great. I've decided to turn this one into an all Mario affair. Uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser. Uh, I gave each of them ones that I think would suit their strong suits. Um, some like a, you know, giving Bowser some uh, damage reduction and attack master. I don't remember what I gave everybody to be perfectly honest. Oh, that zooms in. Okay, but yeah, I think we're good to go. Except I did this. Bowser Jr. All right. My goal here is to try to either A, advance Luigi as much as possible. If, actually, if I can get Luigi back up here, then that would be, oh, that'd be brilliant. Uh, and it is possible in two turns, it looks like, but not a one. But, can these guys attack? I don't remember. They can attack. Uh, flat projectile. They're resistant to everything, and then these guys are weak to everything, and then Bowser's only resistant to fire. So, yes. Uh... So... To start off... It wouldn't be a bad idea to do that. Get rid of all of them in one glow, but she wouldn't be able to move after that. I gotta figure out how I either want to divide up the team or if I want to have them all go in one direction. Uh, cuz... Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Actually, I wonder if Luigi could pick off... I wonder if that's too far for Luigi to hit Bowser, or to hit the Dark Miss Bowser with. Alright, I definitely want Luigi over there, though. So, up and away. I probably is too far. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have everybody go in one direction. It wouldn't make sense to split the party. Unfortunately, I will get the explosion from. Oh no, I didn't get the explosion from Bowser's. Oh, Mario's on that side. Good thing I could do this. Why? Hey! Why did Luigi go so much farther than the other ones? Either way, Luigi's got two team jumps, so... I think trying to get... Because the other person can... Exit there, I think. I think I'm gonna leave Peach in the back for now, so I think what I'm gonna have her do... I'm making sure nobody else can get up here. There's a ramp right there, so they can get up here. I'm gonna start by summoning the Wild Claw. There we go. And then I can give everybody, including the Wild Claw, protection. And then she can act as the jumping off point for everybody else. This would probably be better. Oh, you know what? No. Uh, hang on. Peachy. No, Peachy. Peachy. There we go. Peachy. Oh, maybe that would be better to put her there. Okay. Uh... Well, this will be a test, because I need to- I, I need to see if I can get everybody over to that- to the- the far platform over there. Or I could just get them up here, because I'm pretty sure- yeah, that could work. Okay. If I get them up there and then drop- I can test it with Bowser. If I get up there, drop down... 
and then jump down here, then he can just go into the pipe. Okay. Honestly, it worked out splendiferously. Alright, um... Same thing with Mario. Jump down. Get up here. Hide over here. Luigi jump! I almost went too far! <laughs> that would have sucked. All right, now time to check this. I'm not gonna determine much, but it will help to see what I'm dealing with here. Of course he's, well, I can hit that. Well, start I can start off by getting some much needed damage off on that guy. Yeah, let's do it. Well, actually, uh, unless, does hiding on this wall help me at all? God, if it was just a little bit closer. I can't, and I, he keeps going like way too far. Look at him flopping. Oh, yeah. All right, doing that. Oh, sweet. I didn't realize those were in range of that. All right. Oh, I am most interested in this guy, really. Uh, is he within the blast radius of that explosion? I think he it might be. Oh no, I don't want to actually attack yet, though. Or maybe I do. Oof. Uh, let's put Luigi on Overwatch. Oops, let's put Luigi on Overwatch. His steely stare. I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to do here. If I shoot, then... I think getting... Let's see. Get Bowser down here in this cover. Go for that. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Alright, then we get Mario jumping down here. But... Oh, I already used this! Mmm! 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 Mm-hmm. All right, I'm banking on him moving. I'm actually kind of surprised it didn't... Well, you know what? Gotta summon him anyway. Please destroy the... I, I need you to destroy the... Yes! I needed him to destroy the cover, and that's what he did. Oh, gee, <laughs> I didn't even realize what got summoned down there. Oh my goodness. Marlio. Uh, 70% chance to crit. I like those odds. And even if I don't, I've still got Overwatch. Uh, is that everyone? Oh, Peach can still move. That's why the turn didn't end. All right, let's go. One down, and a react charge. No damage there. Die! Bang, bang. Whoa, that guy made a mistake! Just a, just, you know, just constant additional recharges. No big deal. Did they just die by running into him? Wow, um... Yikes, dude! Oh, he summons his own Magic Koopas! Which I blo- Oh my god! Oh! There is no better- Oh! There is no better, uh, enemy for- for Bowser than Mario. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was wild! Is there cover up there? There is half cover up there. 
Because I, what I want to do is... Let's see. Yeah, Peach can jump on down here. And have a little bit of range here. Just depends on where I want him to go. Theoretically, I could do this and get rid of uh, get rid of his cover, making sure uh, giving Luigi the chance to just like hit completely, just just destroy him. Honestly, yeah, let's go with this. Bowser's Bowser's in the open. Actually, hmm. I think, oh boy. It's tough, it's tough to figure out where you want to go with this. Can he launch it up there? No. But I could, stop aiming at that and aim at this. God, the crit damage, oh wait, what? why is the crit damage on that so big? Bye, bitch! Oh, that's not destructible cover! Yikes, dude. Should've kept Bowser up there for the jumpies. I do want Mario up here, though. He's powered up. Yeah. Do that. Get him over there. Switch to this. Okay. Uh, oh, there aren't any Goombas in range. If I had gotten a Goomba, then I could have dealt additional damage. Get Mario over here. Oh, I can jump again! Mario can jump again! Actually... Luigi can jump twice. And there is higher ground over there for Luigi to start picking off. Well, actually, he could. Well, no, he could pick up Bowser from uh, over his cover as well if he goes back there. It's a risk, but I'm willing to take it. All right. So Luigi, Luigi doesn't even need to go that far, but I did it anyway. All right, uh, Mario. There's a sniper tower over there, but that's way too far away from Bowser, uh, from Dark Mess Bowser at this point. Okay, good. Proof of concept right there. There we go, and then I get a second jump. He, I don't know if you've heard, but he's a jump. Are you kidding me? No! Now I can hit him. All right. Does Mario have anything left? Yes, Mario's got Overwatch. Uh, where does this? Where does that go? That goes so far. Where does that go? Holy cow! Uh, Bowser, my uh, the Dark Mist Bowser might drop down. Ugh. Apparently he's in range. Oh, yeah. If nothing else, the at least the magic coop is in range, so I can get I can do this. Uh, Luigi still has two actions left, so why don't I summon? Why don't I actually? Why don't I go down here to summon the user, make it so he can't attack? Because I'm I, I think Bowser would be very happy with that uh, with that turn of events. Why did you? Why? Why? But why, though? But why? You did- oh, but why, though? I power up, I can scream people away, kill them. Glad it let me do that. Okay, um... Only I can't reach anybody with this except for Bowser. Might actually might be better if I just do this. Get them defended up just in case. And then uh really? Bowser can't move. 
Mario can move, but he's used both of both of his actions. Is there anybody I can hit via this? Via this through violence? Just barely out of range. Oh my god, I can actually- wait, from there? Really? What about here? I- I can't believe that works. If I get closer, I could potentially kill, but... The problem is actually getting close and- OH MY GOD! And she got a def uh, a boost for that. Okay, great! We're in the zone! Autonomous zone. Ooh, a power-up. Oh, because he- um... Oh, my oozer! My stupid, stupid oozer! Yeah, I saw that one coming from a mile away. PUNCH! Okay. Oh, god, he's- And those are industries he's making it so hard for me. But what if? <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. All right. Uh, I'll get vault. I'll get you to vault. I'll get you to. Can Bowser not vault? Is it because Peach is too close? Okay. Plan B. Team jump. Over here. All well and good. In fact, if I could, like, angle it right so I don't use up my thing, because I might be able to just- Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What I'd like to do, which I might have already screwed up, because he might be- He might be too- he is too far away. It's too far away. Alright, well... Man, he is just, like, surrounded on all sides. My ideas involving Luigi go completely out the window because of his position right now. Wait, can I- no, I can't reach that. I was gonna say, I've got a really stupid idea if I could reach that. Yeah, because I'm afraid if I do that, okay. Well, it's not the worst idea. I can still hit him. Oh, if I could just attract him closer. Alright. Face this way. This is one of the most finicky things, is getting him to do the magic group of stuff. I have my range. And my range is good. I could try to go for the Magic Koopas, actually, with- with Luigi. Uh... I was like, really? Am I still looking at 0% there? <laughs> Luigi! Alright, uh, let's get Peach up there as well. Yeah. Boy, do I wish he was still in some form of range. That doesn't work. This does, however. Get a little bit of shooty shoot off on that. Nice. God, I just, I wish. It does deal damage, but I wish I could destroy that, that cover. That solid, crystalline cover. Uh, well, I can do this, so... Actually, it might be good if I go over here instead. Damn. So much for that. 
All right, uh, two gun. And overwatch. If you move first, you're dead. I don't know how else to tell you this. Uh, I could actually reset my cooldowns earlier. I've got no need for like any of this. All right, let's see where this next turn goes. I love that. I love being able to do that. That's great. All right. Holy cow. Man, we just killed him. Wow. <laughs> and Bowser has been slain and Peach took minimal damage. Holy cow. The first cannon is free. It's our means to the second darkness puddle. If we can eliminate it as well, we'll have a clear path to the larger cannon and the Comet Observatory. Watch it be an omnibus of all of the, uh, of all of the, the, the spark hunters I faced along the way. Still missing some, uh, some weapon skins, but I've 100% at every area, so... That's a touch concerning. <laughs> Try to check and see if there's anything else out here. All right, well. Uh, we've done all we could going forward uh, this first part. Uh, we did get, I think we got a memory actually. I think it's important to check out the memories here before we end off. No, we didn't get any memories, Never mind. <laughs> Data not found. Oh, if they do like a sad mix, the deep dark secret. If they do like a sad mix of the Common Observatory, I'm just gonna cry. Next time on Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, we're gonna go into the deep dark secrets and make our way to the Common Observatory. See you all then! Later!